probably the residents of this neighborhood would not like me, an electric unicycle rider, just casually rolling through their perfectly bricked streets. But, oh well. They gotta catch me to complain, right? Yo, what's up? Duff here, back in Florida, back riding in Florida. I've been back in Florida for a little while. Back riding in Florida on my Master V4 with the Clark Pad race system. Yeah, it's, uh, it's I don't know, what is it, 6 p.m.? A little late to be getting out, right? I actually, my plan is to ride over to the cabana, have a couple beers, come back, and I'll eat supper at home. But I thought it'd be nice to get out on a ride. Had a pretty busy day. Uh, like I said, my first riding video since hanging back in California. I did shoot one video just kind of summarizing my thoughts of uh, California, but I have not been out on a wheel since uh, I was out there. So it feels good. Also, I am rocking my Solate gear. Solate. <laughs> this is the gear I got from Timu. This is the gear that um, cost me less than $40 for the knee slash shin guards and, and the elbow guards. Uh, in design and fit, they do remind me uh, quite a bit of my, my much more expensive Nobleman gear. Uh, my Nobleman gear is significantly lighter than this. This is, feels like kind of like ABS plastic, I guess, or I don't know, more conventional plastic, but it does feel heavy duty. It does feel like it's uh, made relatively well, especially for the money. So I thought I would wear it more often to give it a more accurate test. And if I fall, then I can, you know, knock on knock on wood. If I fall, then I can uh, give you even a better test. But, you know, we'll, we won't try to fall. But if I do, I can at least give you a more representative test of this gear. Um, I'm wearing my shirt, my electric unicycle, electric unicycle shirt, courtesy of Dale the electric unicycle from Australia. He bought me this, had it sent directly to my house. Thank you, Dale. Uh, quality is really nice. I don't know, Dale, do you have a store or whatever? Like people could just buy this themselves if they wanted to? I, I don't know. Um, if you send me the, like the, the information, like there's a link or something, I'll, I'll put it on the video for you. But yeah, this is from Dale and it's very nice of him to provide this for me. So it's funny, one of my main takeaways from California was physically I held up much better than I did uh, than expected on those rides. You know, the, the uh, Mount Baldy ride uh, with Cogswell Dam, the Fullerton Loop, especially because I did all kinds of stuff I had never tried before there at the Fullerton Loop. Uh, fell a lot, but I, I, I physically held up well. And then to top it off with my longest ride ever, the 90 miler with Marty, up to, uh, I don't know, what the hell is that place called, Marty? <laughs> Something Pass, or I don't know, Shady Hollow, or I don't know, uh, Green Nirvana, something like that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, 90 mile ride on the Sherman L, and I have some more to talk about with the Sherman L as well, as, as this ride progresses. But yeah, I survived all that well, much, much better than I expected. So then I get home, and, and of course I want to play pickleball, because I hadn't played pickleball in like a week. I, you know, I was going through withdrawal symptoms. So I, I played pickleball three times in the span of uh, less than 24 hours and walked away from that with uh, knee pain. <laughs> My left knee started to uh, hurt me. And I, I basically have been resting it uh, the majority of this week. It's, it feels okay now. I played this morning and got through it. There's still a little bit of weirdness there, but it's not as bad as um, it was. So. Yeah, it's funny. Like, I survived all that in California, come home and play pickleball, and, and, and my knees effed up. So I would say one of the bigger differences with my riding out there, and it's, it's, been, it's been improving over the last year or so, just riding around here as well, is my confidence while riding. I ride faster. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not as uh, hesitant to do some things that I used to be more hesitant about. And I don't know, like somewhere around the beginning of the year, I kind of developed a more of a YOLO, <laughs> a YOLO attitude. You know, I'm just gonna try shit. And, you know, probably because of, you know, stuff that was going on in my life then, I was just like sick of everything. And I'm like, ah, you know, let's try shit, see what happens. You only live once, so. Uh, but I think again, that reflected in my riding out in California.
V4 is feeling good. It's feeling, uh, it's feeling light compared to the wheels that I've been riding recently. You know, I rode the, I rode Larry's Lynx out there for two of the rides and then the Sherman L in the last ride. So you know, the Sherman L is a hundred some pounds, but uh, for being a 102 pound wheel without pads, it still is very uh, comfortable and nimble to me. I really enjoyed my time in the Sherman L. That being said, the lighter weight of the Master Pro V4, or the Master Pro, the Master V4 is nice as well. I just, I don't know. There is definitely a difference to be felt. And I, I'm able to kind of throw this around easily, accelerates hard, brakes well. So, I'm a fan. Yeah, the wheel uh, accelerates quick, man. It's a strong performing wheel. So I'll go my normal route, kind of through the uh, the greenway and, you know, connecting to the cabana that way, because that is a pretty low stress way to go. And fast enough, there's, there's probably faster ways I could get there, but it's fast enough. Oh, remember when I was over in this way last time? I don't know, a few weeks ago? And I said there was something I was very confused about uh, in this section. I'm not confused anymore. I now, I now have cleared my confusion just in case anybody was worried about that. So even though the stock suspension on the V4 Master is not, it's not in the same league as the veteran Fast A suspension, it's not bad. I mean, it gets the job done. And I have you know, tons of options with this. If I wanted to, I could put a better linkage on here that allows more travel. I could put a better shock. But uh, all in all, it's not bad. It takes, it takes the edge off of impacts and that's what I really need. Oh, also another piece of gear that I'm using that is new is my selfie stick. Uh, if you, again, if you watch my videos out in California, you will know that my selfie stick got damaged a couple times. I, uh, I, I bent it uh, running into the mountain on the Mount Baldy ride and then I, I damaged it again on the Fullerton Loop, it was still, uh, I still kind of had it functional, but it used to be a five foot selfie stick and it turned out to be like a three footer when I was done. Uh, but I do have a new selfie stick right now. It's nice and long, uh, just a friction fit. I don't have to, it's, it's easy to extend. Uh, it feels a little heavier, but it has a really nice tripod on the end. Like my old one had a tripod, but it was on the small side. So there's always a risk of it uh, getting blown over. This one is much bigger, so it should be more stable. Uh, because I know it gave Marty uh, anxiety when he saw me having my camera freestanding on that smallest tripod. I don't remember. Have I, have I done steps on this? I don't remember. Let's see if it's clear down here. If it is, I will do this set here. It's like three sets of, I don't know, three or four. Yeah, it looks clear. All right. Extreme! Okay, that feels... Um, that feels hairier than the fast ace wheels. Um, even though I have the, the suspension dialed down on this, it felt a little, uh, little pogo-y. Like it wanted to kind of bounce me off. So if I want to do steps on this, I probably need to um, slow it down even further. Taking a little shortcut. Let's see. I might need to turn around and go down the street I just passed. I'm not sure. Yeah, I do. Probably the residents of this neighborhood would not like me, an electric unicycle rider, just casually rolling through their perfectly bricked streets. But, uh, oh well. They gotta catch me to complain, right? Okay, not ideal. One of the other things I had to buy was the mount to mount my, uh, my wireless mic transmitter back to my GoPro because that broke. I decided to just buy like 3D printed versions and they don't, I don't know, it just, it just came off, it just popped off. So it's not as tight as I would like. So uh, I might need to uh, look into different options. All right, we're almost here. At Bayfront, the cabana, dead ahead. Yo, welcome to Duff, three Miller Lights later uh, at the cabana. Feeling fine. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, in addition to my Sulate gear that I'm testing, I also have on my my E-Wheels 
um, wrist guards. I have God knows how many pairs of these I've gotten over the years. I've never worn them. They're actually kind of nice. So I'm kind of like having two sets of gear, like my Salt Lake gear and this, this Toyota is going really s slow because they're probably looking at me. That Toyota right there. So I kind of have two sets of gear, my Nobleman gear that I have my Killer 187 wrist guards with, and then my Salt Lake gear that I'm using my free E-Wheels uh, wrist guards with. So that's, I don't know, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be wearing the Salt Lake gear for a little while and just test, test the shit out. And uh, we got someone in the street, and they're blocking the street, so I'm just gonna go up here, and I'm going to cut in right here because I can do that quickly on my Master V4. These guys on electric bikes, man, I'll tell you. It's funny, when I was at the uh, cabana, I was talking to some guy that, you know, people are always interested in, he came over and talked to me about my electric wheel. And he has an electric bike. And he says, yeah, man, I can go 35 on that. And I go, yeah, cool, cool. And the Master V4, they can probably, I said, I can probably go 50 on this if I wanted to. And he's like, what, what? He's like, are you kidding me? I said, yeah, I can probably go. I don't know, 50 miles on a charge, what? what? So, I mean, he only spent like a thousand bucks on his e-bike and I said, well, you know, this this thing was probably, yeah, 2,500 bucks here. Oh, here we go, hold on, extreme. There we go, that didn't feel bad. It did not feel bad. Um, so yeah, he was kind of blown away by it. He's like, I don't know how many fist bumps he gave me. Probably, I don't know, half a dozen fist bumps. Repeated fist bumps. So I guess that means that, um, I don't know, he liked me. So here we go. Um, we are on the way home. I'm a little concerned because there's gray skies and uh, thunder this direction, but uh, hopefully we get home without being wet. I don't, I'm not quite sure how, uh, how much water resistance I can uh, expect out of the Master V4, but uh, hopefully we don't have to find out. I don't know, man, cause I'm going that way. I don't know. Could be getting wet. I need to pick up a, a Wawa sandwich on my way home too, so. You know, we'll see. I forgot to mention I saw Christine. Uh, when did I see her? Friday, right? Yeah, she was in my office getting some uh, motor vehicle stuff done. Got to talk to her for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. See if we can navigate this without a problem. Um, I can, all right, awesome. Um, yeah, I got to talk to her. I haven't, I haven't seen her in person in quite a while. So got to catch up on the latest and greatest. Unfortunately, she says she said she does not ride. She does not ride her one wheel that much, which is a bummer. I told her I said, "Well, if you want to ride, just let me know. I'll ride with you." Yeah, but we always had a great time riding. So I don't know. I don't know if she will or not, but um, I'd be happy to ride with Christine. A pretty good rider, so you know, she's kind of a natural, except for the wipeout. But um, you know, she has not wiped. She has not wiped out since. But you know, from that wipeout, she had like a hematoma on her on her side, on her thigh. It's still there. I don't even know how long it's been since that happened. I don't, a year? She still has remnants of that hematoma on her leg, which is kind of crazy, so yeah. But anyways, Christine, if you see this, happy to ride, happy to ride. Okay, so like I mentioned, why am I on this? I don't know why I'm on the bike path instead of the, the street, but whatever. Um, like I mentioned, I rode the Sherman L out in uh, California for 90 miles. Uh, 90 miles, yes. So I got a very good taste of the Sherman L and I liked what I tasted. It was good. I like it. So I am intending to get one. I would like to get a Sherman L. To make it more financially sane, I need to sell my Sherman S first. So I will be selling my Sherman S. Uh, I have to check how many miles I have on it. Not that many. It's, uh, I'm, I know it's less than a thousand miles on my Sherman S and it's been well taken care of. So if you're looking for a Sherman S, uh, let me know. I'm not sure. I saw someone listing a Sherman S for three grand. I, I don't know. I'd probably sell for a little bit less than that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would like to sell my Sherman S to facilitate getting a Sherman L because the Sherman L is awesome, right? Like everybody, pretty much exclusively, everybody that's ridden a Sherman L likes it. Marty likes it, Roger likes it. Uh, Dawn's only ridden a little bit, but Dawn likes it. Jack likes it, Electric Dreams Jack. Although he, it's interesting, like he's the only one that did not like the tire. I love the tire. 
Uh, Roger loved the tire. Marty loves the tire. Don likes the tire. Everyone else loves the tire. Uh, Jack did not like the tire for some reason, but I think that tire is actually quite good. It really is. So I'd be I'd be happy with that on my wheels. So yeah, Sherman L in my future uh, sometime. Just not quite sure when. Freaking 3D printed mount just came off again. What the hell? How, how do you sell a 3D mount that doesn't stay in very well? Now I hit something on the on the screen to f it up. All right, let me turn it off and turn it back on. I'm just looking for some more clarity here, which will not, oof, will not mean much to you, but uh, seeking clarity. Okay, I did not, I did not receive my clarity that I was seeking, but it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. But no, no clarity, no clarity. Although I don't have clarity in a lot of things, so I mean, it's not like it's anything new. Yeah, this is annoying, man. I, it's weird, like this knee pain I have, like I had the left knee pain, but my right one still is not right either. I have this pain on the outside. It almost feels like uh, like IT band pain on the right knee. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It's so annoying, man. Getting old sucks. This is me riding in traffic. Naples traffic. Much different than California traffic, let me tell you that. Holy crap, man. Freaking 12 lanes, dead stops. Oh my God, man, California traffic, man. I don't know how people deal with that. I complain about traffic here and it's nothing compared to California, nothing. All right, here we go. Blown through the intersection. Right. Master V4 is fun, man, it's fun. Someone just uh, was on the main street and they yelled out their window, do a wheelie. What the hell does that mean, man? I only got one wheel, I can't do a wheelie. I mean, I am a people pleaser by trade, but no, I, I, I just, I, I don't know. How do you do a wheelie on a one wheel device? I, I don't think you can. Uh, yeah, the reason I was rolling was actually, I, I don't know I've ever mentioned about the, the Clark pad pedals. They're cool looking, obviously, right? They're cool looking, but they are comfortable and they are grippy. Yeah, I mean, and they are color coordinated, obviously. So yeah, I'm I'm a fan of the Clark Pad pedals. I mean, I've I've I have the E-Rides pedals on both my Sherman S and my Patton, uh, but I like the Clark Pad pedals. They're nice. This is the part of the ride where I wind up running up the ass of, of old farts uh, on this road. Speed limit is technically 25, and you get behind these people that go like freaking 15 miles an hour over the speed bumps, and I I can hit them at normal speed and not slow down at all. So, because I'm on a wheel and they are not. Uh, but I wind up like running up the ass of people all the time. Luckily, it looks like there's nobody going this way. Okay, well, there's, a, yeah, there's an SUV up there, but I don't know that I'll catch them. I probably will actually. But yeah, I can just I can just uh, cruise right over these speed bumps without, uh, you know, no bubbles, no troubles, but you get behind these old drivers and they act like they're gonna rip out their undercarriage going over these speed bumps, which is kind of stupid. Yep, I caught him. I caught him. It's, you know. And I got a slow way down here. See, I'm right up his ass, right up his ass. I don't like to be up people's asses. I really like the Michelin Pilot Street 2 that I put on this thing. It's an 80, 90, 14 feels really good. I mean, the knobby it came with was not bad, but since I do, you know, 95% street riding, I really like this Michelin Pilot Street 2 for that situation. Handles well, tracks well. It's a good tire. Don't let me forget to go to Wawa, because that's my dinner. Wawa, usually I do Wawa for lunch, but tonight Wawa is dinner. Oh, um, George, George, uh, George from um, East Coast, Florida. George posted a picture of him getting um, some, th some sort of drink at Wawa. I guess coffee, yeah, it was coffee, right, George? <clears throat> coffee at Wawa, but he was wearing a no-skill zombie rider shirt, which I have, I own that shirt as well. I gave Larry one of the shirts when he was out in California. That's something that you can like, most people, I mean, you always see, so you ignore it, but like below my videos, there's like a, uh, it's called sp uh, spread shop, spread shirt. It might be spread shop where you can just click there and you can buy 
uh, stuff that's either tagged with no skill zombie rider or extreme and uh, the prices actually are not ridiculous they really are not like I, I got a a, a large size t-shirt uh, no skill zombie rider it's like 24 bucks and it's a good it's a good quality shirt it's not a shitty shirt it's a good shirt and uh, I like it fits well it's uh, feels kind of soft so yeah if, if you're looking for that kind of stuff if you want if you want to join the no skill zombie rider movement uh, that is your opportunity to do so or or extreme I didn't get extreme stuff because I thought it'd be kind of weird to have a shirt that has you know my, basically my head on it I think that would be kind of I don't know pompous or <laughs> conceited or I don't know it's just I didn't I didn't feel right about it but no skill zombie rider yeah I'll do that all day long out and about in traffic no I didn't forget I'm going to Wawa right now I did not forget uh, can I beat this car across I think I can because there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, look at me beating those cars. Facing death. Facing certain death. Um, yeah. YOLO. Okay, dinner is served. Got my Wawa sub. Should be good to go. So, all right, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, yeah, very, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a pretty standard duff video, right? Talking about shit. Riding around and uh, enjoying myself. I'm glad I got out here. I was, I was debating if I was going to do it or not, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I did. So if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there or somewhere. Let's po point to it with a, with a hoagie. Hit the notify bell. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Huge thanks to my channel members. Last time I checked, I had 23 channel members. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I think they're, they're still all channel members. So uh, they're over there as well. Thank you, channel members, I appreciate you. Dawn, Dawn Champion. Think about becoming a member to her channel. Uh, she, she's done a pretty good job getting members so far, but uh, yeah, if you wanna help out Dawn, it will be a big help to her. If you wanna become a member to her channel, it's not too much. If, if, you're, if you're contemplating, well, hey, I can only be members on one channel, Duff's channel or Dawn's channel, be a member on Dawn's channel, I'll be okay. And uh, just being a subscriber is enough, enough for me, but uh, I do appreciate my members, of course, of course. So, all right, I'm almost home, all on ass. Just scared a guy that was in the bike path. So that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duff Man out. I really do like this wheel. It's a, it's a nice wheel. It's a nice, it's a nice, um, it's a nice, I don't know, it's a nice mix up from uh, my other collection. Have a great weekend. All right, Scamster, this is for you. We'll set it to, uh, I don't know, 131 volts. Since I'm not quite sure when I'll be riding it again. Thank you.